that I have been gone for so long on this channel. I know I made my last video and said I was going to come back, but then I got bronchitis, so that sucked, but I'm feeling a lot better. I still feel kind of scratchy and like my voice goes kind of like in and out sometimes, so I'm very sorry about the voiceover. I sound a little crazy in it, but I wanted to do a video for you guys on some Halloween costumes because I love Halloween and I wanted to make them Disney because I am the biggest Disney fan. I love everything Disney, so I made three of some of my favorite Disney characters. I wanted to share them with you guys. They're very inexpensive, very easy. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs. I have a bunch of DIYs planned. I'm thinking of doing some fall DIY room decor if you want to see that. Give it a thumbs up. And also, if you recreate any of these looks, be sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram and follow me on there and I will chat with you guys, follow you back, etc. And yeah, let's get started. So our first costume is Ariel, or the Little Mermaid, which is my favorite Disney princess. So this one is one of my absolute favorites. I love her, and it was so easy. And all you're going to need is a purple tank top. I got mine for like $3 at the mall. A variety of seashells. Some green tool. I used about two yards. Some craft netting, and a hot glue gun. So you're going to start off by just making the skirt, and I really love this skirt because it's a different twist on what you normally see in an Ariel costume. Usually it's like a green tutu or like a green skirt, which I do love, and you can totally use one of those if you want. So I just started by stretching out the netting, and then I tied the two pieces together because my waist was bigger than just one piece, but, you know, make it to however it fits you. And I just tied these together with some tool, and then I cut off the excess, and it was super easy and great. Then I just took my hot glue gun, and I glued along the bottom of the netting, and I scrunched up my tool a little bit and then just glued it on all along the bottom. It's very, very easy and very, very fast. Then once I was done with that, I flipped it over and I did it on the opposite side. And as you can see, like the middle pieces of tool, like the tool in between the top and the bottom is free flowing, which I love. It looked so cute, kind of resembled water even though it was green. I just really liked it. And once you're done with that, then you can glue on some seashells. I did a variety of them. Do whatever you want. Super easy and it turns out super cute and it's super customizable. Super, super, super. <laughs> And for the top, all I did was took two of these big seashells and glued them where your boobs go, and it turned out adorable. This is the finished outfit. I love this. I thought it was so cute and super easy. I just tied the skirt around my waist, and I just glued this little starfish onto a hair clip, and it was so adorable, and I love it. The next costume is Lilo from Lilo and Stitch, and I love Lilo. A lot of people tell me that I remind them of Lilo, which is a compliment because she is adorable, so yes. All you're going to need is a red t-shirt dress, some white sticky foam, and an X-Acto knife. So I started out by going online, and I literally googled Lilo and Stitch leaf. And this came up, this picture. I will link it down below if you guys want it. And all I did was I took my X-Acto knife after printing it out onto some paper and I cut it out because this is going to be our stencil for the actual sticky things. So once I was done cutting that out, I just took a black marker and traced it over my white sticky foam paper. And I recommend doing the back of it because you don't want the black marker to be on the front of it when you actually put it on the dress. And then all I did was I took my X-Acto knife and cut it out. I got my X-Acto knife at Walmart for $3. It is so inexpensive and so much better than scissors for this kind of thing. It was amazing. And I just cut them out and set them aside and it was really, really great. <laughs> Once I was done cutting out all my leaves, I just put them onto my dress, I arranged them to make sure that they would fit, and then I just took off the sticky paper and put them right on. Also, the stickies don't stick super, super well, so I wouldn't say this is a permanent costume. It's very temporary, only for like one night, but it was very, very, very inexpensive and adorable. 
and this is what the costume looked like. I wore it with some pants again because the dress was a little short, but I'm super excited because after Halloween, I can just take the little leaves off and wear it on a normal basis, and it's adorable. I got the dress for $5 at Cotton On, and I got my little stitch at the Disney store, and it was so cute. And the last costume is Kevin from Up, and I'm so excited about this one. This one is actually my favorite costume I made. It was so easy, really inexpensive, and I just love it so much. So, what you're going to need is some tool, and I use the colors that Kevin has, which is blue, yellow, light blue, purple, and orange. You're also going to need some elastic, a headband, some floral wire, and some large green jewels. So, we're going to start off by making the little headband. I got my headband at Walmart and this floral wire from Michaels, and it's like malleable, bendy floral wire, but it's also very thick. So I just kind of took it and wound it around the headband until I had five little wires sticking out. It wasn't rocket science, I just did kind of five different lengths. I just kind of went with whatever I felt like, and then bent the tops back a little bit, and then I just hopped glued my green jewels on super super easy and then moving on to the tutu I took my elastic and I measured it around my waist and then I took off four inches so that the tutu actually had something to stretch out because if it actually just fit your waist it would just kind of like sit there and then I hot glued the elastic together you can sew it you can do whatever you want to attach it together And then starting on the tool, I folded my tool in half and then cut my strips out because you want your tool strips to be twice as long as how long you actually want the skirt to be. It sounds confusing, but you want just basically one really long strip of tool because we're going to fold our tool in half like this and then put it under the elastic and then it forms this kind of like hole. And then we're going to put the tool pieces through the hole and pull to tighten. It sounds kind of confusing, but I promise it's really easy. Just watch this over and over again and continue it all over with all the colors and it gets super easy and it doesn't actually take as long as you would think it would. Once you're done making the entire tutu, you can trim the pieces however long or short you want them to be. So this is the finished costume. I love it so much. I went to Build-A-Bear and I actually got one of the boxes there, which is like a shopping bag for them. If you buy something, they'll give you this little box. And I painted it to look like the house. And then I bought some balloons and I attached them to them and I thought it was the perfect outfit and I love it so much. And my voice sounds crazy right now. I apologize. But I hope you guys enjoyed these costumes. I sure loved it. And yes. Adventure is out there, it's my holy grail, so cannibals and tigers beware. I've made my life's journey to blaze every trail, I've got my arrow fair, the highbrows will be there. My spirit of adventure is you, for it's of nature and a glow. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you want to see more DIYs, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Also, be sure to check out my DIY I did over on Awesomeness TV. I did a DIY Alice in Wonderland costume, and it will be linked down below. Bye!